to the hot hell darkness. Your room is ready, child. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Young people think that old people have less time to live and are therefore worth less than them. This is so very wrong on both counts. Old people have more to offer because they are more experienced. And as for old people having less time to live, you want to pay more attention to your nursery rhymes. Old MacDonald has a farm. Hey, ha, hey, ha, oh! I bet you don't know where that comes from. <laughs> This is the Visitor's Book, where all the grisly tales of all my wicked guests are written down. Want to see why one of these bad children is down here? This is Angela's story. I call it Old MacDonald's Farm. There was once a girl called Angela Asboo, who thought she was terrific. If the world could have been populated with lots of other Angelas, her life would have been perfect. As it was, the world was populated with lots of old people who made unreasonable demands on her time. Help with the washing up? Think of it as your contribution to the family. I didn't ask to be born. I don't owe you anything. Nobody say you do. It's about living together, that's all, Angela. About rubbing along and making life pleasant for other people. My life is pleasant enough as it is, thank you very much, without doing bed making, bath scrubbing or washing up, and I'd like to keep it that way. It wasn't just her parents who got it in the neck, it was old people in general. Ooh, ooh. She didn't like old people. <laughs> She thought they didn't respect her, so she didn't respect them. <laughs> it's not just that they always want something from me, like opening a door or giving them my seat on a bus. It's the way old people look so... old. <gasps> it was a speak-your-mind session at school. Of course, the grey hair and glasses are unpleasant, but nowhere near as bad as that loathsome flap of wrinkly skin under their chins that makes them all look like scraggy old boiler chickens. In my opinion, old people stop being useful when they stop looking after their children. Oh, <gasps> that's an awful thing to say. You don't think that about your parents, surely? Of course I do, that's why I said it. Once I've left home, I can't see the point of keeping them going. And it's not a cruel thing, before you think it is, because without me there to bring meaning to their lives, they wouldn't want to go on anyway. <laughs> so you think old people should be chucked on that scrap heap to make way for young people? Exactly! Young people like me, who can then party on down for the rest of our lives without a bunch of killjoys telling us what we can and cannot do. <laughs> and how exactly do you propose to get rid of these old people? That's easy. Because old people look like useless old chickens, I'd get rid of them the same way. You can't do that. Well, obviously, I wouldn't. I'd find a friendly farmer who would. Unbeknownst to Angela, her voice had carried as far as the ventilation grate in the classroom wall, where a small multi-directional microphone had relayed her controversial views down a telephone wire to a central operations room in the basement of a bowling club in Weybridge. Disrespector alert in the Bristol area. Here's what she said, sir. Time to wake the dead. Mm. Circulate the target. Um, Angela as Boo. Over the next few days, 
Angela noticed that there seemed to be more old people than usual invading her space. I'm not a baby. I can cross the road on my own, you know. Could you give me a hand with my grandson? Do I look like a crane? Excuse me, dear. Uh, would you mind if I went first? Only I, I can't stand up anymore. Be my guest. <coughs> <laughs> That'll teach you to wait your turn. One stamp, please. <laughs> On each occasion, she noticed a strange, musty smell that lingered in the air after each old person had gone. It was like damp soil piled up next to a freshly dug grave. It was the smell of the undead dead, having recently climbed out of their coffins. The old age pensioner's dead army was onto her. Their sole purpose, to capture young children who disrespected their elders and punish them in rather cruel and interesting ways. <laughs> As Angela left her house one morning to go to school, she was followed. Target proceeding along Fruitless Avenue in a southerly direction. Stay with her, Agent Plosser. We have ambush prepared for the corner of Caesar Street. Keep alert. It was always a good thing to remind OADPA operatives to stay awake, especially on surveillance work when they tended to nod off at the drop of a hat. Ah. <laughs> the young girl, help. I can't lift him up on my own. Then leave him where he is. He shouldn't be allowed to use the pavement anyway if he can't walk. Have a heart. Agent Fluffy, take her. Grab vehicle moving in. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh. Oh. While Angela was out cold, she was driven to a World War II aircraft hangar just outside a village called Adelstone. Hmm. Ah, you're awake. Welcome to the farm, Angela. Who are you? The OADPA, working to put respect back into our society. I'm afraid you won't be going anywhere. Now, these, according to you, are useless old scraps of meat fit only for the stock pot. While these are no better and deserve to be treated the same. I don't understand. You said, and I quote, Old people look like useless old chickens. I'd get rid of them the same way. What are you going to do to me? Well, first, we're going to turn you into a chicken, and then we're going to find a friendly farmer to dispatch you. I've changed my mind. I love old people. I'm going to be an old person one day myself. <laughs> Now that's an assumption I'd have to challenge. Angela Asbu was dried out in a wind tunnel, shrunk in an apple press, tarred and feathered, dipped in yellow custard, and given a beak made from old dentures. Then she was loaded onto the back of a lorry, driven to the nearest chicken farm and left for the farmer to find in the morning. He wasn't just any old farmer either. He was an old farmer with very poor eyesight. And every morning he would take his useless old boilers out of the coop to dispatch them. His name was Old MacDonald. <laughs> Can you guess what noise Angela Asbu made when she got her just desserts? Of course you can. Hey, ha, hey, ha, oh. <laughs> <laughs>